Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound and we're going into chapter 12 about universal gravitation. So our objectives with this section, this video, are to explain Newton's ideas that the moon, like an apple, falls toward the earth and explain why the moon does not fall into the earth nor the planets into the sun. So let's take a look at the falling apple from section 12.1 in your book. Newton thought there was a force acting on the moon because it followed a curved path, not a straight line. We know from Newton's laws that if an object is moving because of inertia, it continues moving in, in a straight line until acted upon by an, outline, an outside force. So in order for the moon to follow a curved path, there must be a force on it. So Newton had the insight to see that the force on the moon has the same nature as the force on an apple. If you were to throw an apple, it also follows a curved path because of the force of gravity on it. So let's take a look at the falling moon. Newton hypothesized that the moon, number one, is a projectile. Number two is attracted to the earth and three has tangential velocity that prevents it from falling into the earth. So if we take a look at this picture here, this is a circle. Let's say this is a circle. This is the direction of the velocity. This velocity is tangent to the circle. This is a tangent line if you remember that from math. So that is tangential velocity. And this is a lot like the situation where, remember, I was swinging the uh, ball on a rope and then I would let go of it and it would fly in a straight line from where I released it. That is its tangential velocity. That's where you would see that. And Newton reasoned that the gravitational attraction between the Earth and the Moon must be inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So the Moon is falling around the Earth. This still seems a little odd. Let's explain this further. First of all, the Moon is accelerating towards the Earth. Well, shouldn't it crash into it if it's accelerating towards the Earth? The speed of the Moon in orbit is roughly the same everywhere but its direction is constantly changing. So that's another reason we know that there is a force on it, because if its direction is changing, there's a force acting on it. This is due to the attraction between the Earth and the Moon. The velocity of the Moon is perpendicular to the radius of its orbit. So here is the radius of its orbit. This is its tangential velocity that is perpendicular. So this means that it is parallel or tangent to the Earth's surface, so it is called tangential velocity. Because of the Moon's tangential velocity, it doesn't crash into the Earth because it has this constant velocity. It's moving fast enough that it can keep falling, but not fall into the Earth because it is following the curvature of the Earth. It is going, it is a projectile that is fast enough to follow the curvature of the Earth. And we talked about this when we talked about projectiles, that if something could go fast enough, and that's eight kilometers per second, it will just keep falling around the Earth and not fall into the Earth. So what about the Earth? Is it falling also? Yes, it is. The Earth is falling around the Sun and it does not crash into it because dun, 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 of its tangential velocity, just like the Moon. So the planets also have tangential velocity, just like the Moon. So that is why we don't go crashing into the Sun. We are attracted to the Sun, but we are going fast enough that we are constantly falling around a curve around the Sun in our orbit. So our objectives today were to explain Newton's idea that the moon, like an apple, falls toward the earth and explain why the moon does not fall into the earth nor the planets into the sun. So make sure you do your five questions and we'll be back with more about universal gravitation.